Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys five different beacon designs that you could do in your survival world. Now, these um, are all basically different types of things that you can do. Um, the, keep in mind that these are all things that you do like on top of the beacon, like as you could see there's the beacon on the bottom and then you have the top part. Um, the top part is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to build today. So. We basically just have like a stone one, a uh, fountain one, um, kind of like a quartz, quartzy one, and then we have like a nether one. You still could do it in the overworld because, well, if you want to get the beacon in the nether, you have to break bedrock. And then this one's kind of just like a medieval one or spruce, whatever you want. Um, before I show you guys how to build these and what everyone or what all of them look like, uh, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. Um, especially subscribing that it really it's just so awesome it's completely free and you can always unsubscribe later but that being said let's check out the beacons so this first one basically like it's pretty much just a simple stone one um yeah like different types of stone variants pretty much um f for the materials all you need is this um just andesite uh just these things um the reason why i don't have the material like the amount you need is because yeah, uh, you guys can like expand this in any way you want or whatever. So, and it's pretty much customizable. Um, and so, those are the materials the materials you'll need. Um, pretty simple. It's mostly just stone stuff, as you can see, um, and one piece of glass for there and there. Um, but it's pretty simple. You just pretty much just uh, take three blocks or whatever, and then an upside down stair, a stair. And then three slabs of again these you don't let you can make these all one uh, shape or one block whatever you want to call it. Um, pretty much you just do that all the way around. Then you add a stair and then a uh, under or a upside down stair on that one and then another regular stair and then basically just slabs going in a square around the middle glass which is the beacon. Um, obviously if you want this to be a one block center you would e either have to have a one beacon like this or a nine beacon which would be absolutely insane um the next one is this fountain one um as you can see you probably can't really see through it on here because i have shaders on so if i take them off it looks like this pretty plain actually um it's pretty simple uh you just have um i'll show you how to like do everything um you just got a beacon uh with some water flowing out the sides it's, it's pretty simple um, you can expand the bottom if you want. I made it pretty small, um, as you could see, and you, you can, uh, you don't have to use just stone brick. You can use smooth stone. Uh, these are the materials you're going to need. Um, pretty simple, uh, obviously. Again, customizable on size and block variants. Um, yeah, and basically, right here, these are stairs. I don't know if you could see, see how they're, like, stairs. Um, these are the blocks that are waterlogged. It's just the four outer rings. Um, when I show you guys how to build it, I'll show you like basically just everything in the uh, like the what what it looks like on the inside and stuff. It's pretty simple. Um, moving on to the quartz one. This one it gets a little bit more complicated, although it does uh, look a lot more cooler. Um, I basically took the underwater conduit design and transferred it into this and made it um, look like a like a lot cooler. Um, pretty much, you just got sea lanterns in here um, and then some end rods. Obviously, you don't have to use the end rods. I think it just looks it more. It makes it look more like industrial and technical and stuff. Um, you have to be careful of these because you have to place an obsidian right like here, like. At the level of these end rod like basically in the middle of these four end rods you have to place one um not in there but like above that and basically it's the same thing for down here too um and then it starts floating um it's pretty simple you just got to be careful breaking the obsidian after because that will explode and absolutely like kill everything so uh pretty cool um that's pretty much it oh the materials you'll need are these right here just a bunch of quartz stuff um, nether brick stuff, iron trap door, uh, pretty simple stuff. Moving on to the nether one. This one requires quite a bit of crying, uh, crying obsidian, as you could probably tell. Um, you don't have to use crying obsidian. You could use normal obsidian. I just like the drip effect and how it 
looks it kind of has like a purple cracks or whatever so i kind of like it and when you walk in here you get a lot of the, the drippy stuff when you walk in um pretty much just like an indent floor right here i actually love the crimson biome so i use the crimson stem and stuff you don't have to you could use the warped variant too uh they both look really good i especially like my favorites the crimson forest that's why i use this red but um, and then you just got some soul lanterns there pretty much just goes up all the way and then you got a red stained glass um it's pretty cool actually it's one of my favorites it probably is my favorite other than these two which are pretty cool um but the materials you'll need are red stained glass crying obsidian and pretty much just those are pretty simple moving on to the last and final beacon design i guess you could say um it's pretty much it's pretty much uh just spruce the whole way um the materials you'll need are these right here pretty simple uh n nothing too complicated you should be able to get it early game ish the stone brick might be a little bit tougher you might have to smelt some stone um but it's pretty cool you just got some normal spruce right up there and then you just got you know your little spruce area at the bottom uh, pretty simple trap doors are definitely helpful that's a lot of detail to it and same with the buttons okay time to get on to the building process
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. These builds took me a long time. And if you have any other build ideas or suggestions or even questions, just let me know down in the comments below um, because these builds did take me a long time, and I'd really appreciate it if you smash that like button and subscribe because if everyone watching this video right now subscribes, we, I would be at like a million, quadrillion subscribers. Well, that's even if it gets that many views. Well, um, th I want to thank you guys so much for watching, guys. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss any other videos I upload on my channel because I think I'm going to start streaming, stream streaming soon, and that's going to be super fun. And uh, I just want to thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.